Okay, hi everyone. Uh, I'm recording this audio after this attempt um, because I, I was kind of talking throughout it, um, but once I got into the later rounds, I basically just stopped talking. Uh, I was trying this UK Better Map speedrun. Okay, my best score was 18 minutes, 7 seconds so far, which is just nowhere near good enough. Um, and so I thought, well, let's see if we can beat that. My ultimate goal is obviously to get five minutes-ish or under and get on that leaderboard. Um, but I'm going to, over the next few weeks or months, just try and sort of whittle that time down as best I can. And this was the best attempt that I had today. So let's watch it. Um, so first location, we're in a kind of uh, residential area. And I made a huge blunder here. I go up the street. I find the, uh, the street sign which is there, Adder Lane Road. And I think, right, okay, wonder where we are. I could have gone north, uh, sorry, south there, but instead I decided to go north and I started going around this housing estate and I was thinking, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I must be able to get out of this uh, by going this way. So I go down this road. I wasn't really thinking straight. So I went along here, I started going around and I just, I'm, I'm frustrated already. I couldn't see anything. Couldn't see any other signs, nothing that would tell me where I am. And then I stupidly went this way and I went all the way along this road. I was thinking, oh, maybe there's going to be, you know, like a lorry or a van or something like that that would give me something. And then I realized I'm back where I started. I'm back at the exact same place, Adder Lane Road. So I stupidly went around in a circle. So probably wasted about a minute. So in the end, I went south straight up this road. Uh, and realize this is the way I should have gone all along. Get up to what looks like the kind of main road. We've got Neil Street there. I get in here and I start looking for clues. And I see there are Tyne Tees. And I know that that probably means we're near Newcastle or near the River Tyne. Uh, I'm looking around Front Street Barbers. So this must be called Front Street, um, which I think it is. And then over here I see Tynedale Hospice. So I think, right, Tyndale sounds like it probably is the right place. Um, it actually isn't the right place. It's actually, a, I think it's a place called Prudhoe, um, which you might be able to see there on the map to the west. But I hadn't locked that in my mind yet. So I'm looking at the River Tyne. I know we're probably not in Newcastle. We're going to be one of these little towns sort of nearby on the river. So I start going along the river. I'm looking for Tyndale which is not a place, I don't think, because I never found it. Um, I'm zooming around, I'm looking, and I just don't see anything. And I end up coming back to the map, and then I think I then see uh, Prudhoe on one of the shop windows or something. And I'm going to come back to it in a minute. But I'm looking along here, I'm not seeing it, getting frustrated, thinking about quitting, because I'm like, oh, I've already gone around in a circle at the beginning. Um, you know, and this has taken me ages to find. Uh, I see Tyne Mouth over there, and so I think, oh, you know, maybe maybe it's somewhere near here, Tyne Dale, but I still don't see it. Uh, I'm still looking around, looking, and now I come back to the map, and I go along, and eventually I see, I think I see Prudhoe on a shop somewhere. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. Is it over here? Oh, I can't remember when I saw it. It was on one of the shops earlier. Um, but I just didn't clock it. Um, I think I was looking there to see if I could see the sea or something. Um, coming along, I have a look. I look at that and, and I'm just trying to work out what it says. You can probably see on the, on the, there's a snooker club there as well called Prudhoe Snooker Club. I'm looking here and eventually I see this tourist information sign, Prudhoe. So I see it, I get back in there, I'm looking around and you can see it there on the west. So I zoom in. There's Front Street with Greg's. I go back to the beginning because I, I forgot where I was and where the streets were. So Adder Lane Road. I know this is east to west and you go south towards Front Street. So I eventually I look around and I see it there, put the man down. I go back to the beginning and I just realize, right, we're just on that bend a little bit further down. And we go for it. And it's a perfect score, 5K. Now the second one was also very frustrating and took me way longer than it should have all right i knew pretty much right away we're by the sea and i see the street sign there Frere street 
uh, the Hue Gun Battery. Um, and I go along here, it's very, very misty, and there's the sea to the north. So I'm thinking, right, okay. And I end up coming down here, and I eventually, I think, go to uh, the left, which is to go in, a, in an east direction. Uh, and, I, and I end up seeing the sea to the east as well. And so I'm thinking, right, we've got to be on the sort of northeast coast of, of England somewhere. Lighthouse on that sign. Um, yeah, and I come down here and I notice, wow, you know, there's the sea again, directly to the east. So I'm thinking, right, where on earth could this be? You know, um, it gets sunny now, which is good. There's a lighthouse there, but I just don't have any signs. I don't have anything that's telling me what town this is. Um, I'm looking around, I'm looking at trucks like that to see if there's any name on it. And I come along here and I look at this and it says something about Hadfield, Shom something. I thought, well, maybe it's Hadfield, is that the name of the place? But it doesn't fit, it doesn't really seem correct to me. I'm still looking around. <laughs> this takes way too long. I don't know why I go down this road because it's just a dead end. Um, I, was, I think I was maybe hoping there was gonna be some sort of sign like, oh, welcome to something, something beach, you know, and that might give it to me. But that wasted time. I come along here, eventually I'm going to get it, and it's Hartlepool. Um, I can't remember where I saw it. It was here. Yeah, there's Headland Baptist Church. There's the church I saw earlier. I think I go down this road, and eventually I'm going to see a sign, something, somewhere that says Hartlepool. It's coming soon, I think. I can't remember how long it took me. Um, I think I go quite a lot further here. I'm trying to make out things on that sign, and... It's just too blurry. Um, I come along this road. Um, it's coming soon. <laughs> I'll get the sign that says Hartlepool. Um, yeah, I'm still sort of just looking around and, and just trying to figure it out. At first I thought, could this be near Hull, maybe? The sort of Hull area. Um, so I go into the map and I go down. I'm going near Norwich. I scroll up, I get to Hull. I don't even know what I'm looking for, to be honest. Uh, I think I'm looking for something like head something that I saw on the on the church um, or whatever it was. I come along, Hartley Pool is there, but I didn't know. And I, I think I'm just sort of desperate here. You know, I'm desperate. I'm just sort of looking for something that's going to fit. Um, again, thinking about just quitting because I've just spent way too long. I throw the man there as just my best guess. Um, the Harbour of Refuge, Pubmaster. This goes on for a ridiculous amount of time, to be honest. These are the types of things that I can definitely get faster at, because this is just unacceptable <laughs> to take this long, to be honest. But in my defense, you know, the, there's not a lot of signs saying where we are. Um, Fish Key down there. Um, I think the sign that says Hartlepool is coming up very, very soon. Can't remember where it was. It must've been on one of these shops or something. Norma's tea shop there, uh, and there it is, Hartlepool Dental Clinic or whatever. So I scroll up, um, I forget where Hartlepool is or how far north it is. I see it, I see the Hugh Battery Museum and I'm like, right, that's where we are, we're somewhere on there. I go back to the beginning because once again, I've forgotten the name of the street. I think it was Frere something, Frere Street or whatever. Um, I'm looking around for it. I see it there, Frere Street. I know it's a north to south road, and there it is right there. Um, now, I'm not quite sure exactly where we are, but I go back to the beginning. I see the little road going left and then right, or west and then east. And I'm thinking, right, we must be just before that, right in the middle of those two houses, or those two rows of houses. And I go for it, and it's right. So if you're counting the time, I think we're already at about sort of seven minutes, which is way too long. This one is a lot faster. In fact, the last three are a lot faster. I look around at some of the bins first, just in case. I go down this street, and it seems like we're in quite a central area of whatever this town is. I think there must be something on one of these uh, signs for the some development that's going on, but I move and it's gone. And so I I think I end up moving again, and I'm, I'm just trying to figure out where we are. Again, just looking for some sort of sign, uh, looking at the shops here. I was thinking 
that this looked a lot like a place in Scotland. Um, but I can't, was it in the end? I don't think so. Uh, there we go. Yeah, Tunbridge Wells, which was on the the bus. So I scroll in. I, I know the Tunbridge Wells is somewhere down here, south of London. I go in. I go right into the middle, throw the man down, and I go back to the beginning. And I'm trying to find out what the name of this street is or the one that I'm just turning on to here. Um, I look around. I think I see this building that I think, well, I should be able to find that. I go over here and there's a street sign there which says Monson Road. And that's going east to west. So I zoom in. I look around. I see Monson Road there. And I figure out that we must be pretty much right there. One way street. We're coming out. And we're basically just at the end of that big thing on at, to the north there. Throw it down and it's right. Number four immediately looks very Scottish. Caravan park. Uh, there's no, nothing on that sign. Uh, and I see the street is called Kirkburn, which would make sense for this being Scotland. And you can see the, the red T there, which is for tenants, which is a Scottish uh, beer or lager. Uh, I see the Press and Journal, which is, I believe, a Scottish newspaper. And I see it says Burvey, Burvey Paper Shop. Um, and I think, okay, we could be in a place called Burvey. Um, but I want to get some more clues. So I go down this road here. Uh, I'm looking at some of the signs. Fotheringham, that doesn't make sense for this being in Scotland. That sound, does not sound like a very Scottish name. Come along here and I see this sign, Dundee to the south on the A92. So I come to Dundee and I kind of forget where the A92 is. The A90 goes north and then to the to the west there. Um, I'm just sort of zooming in a few a few roads and then I realize, oh wait, it's this one here. So I start looking along this for Burvey because that's what I saw earlier, something about Burvey. And I thought, okay, that has got to be the name of the place that we're in. You can probably just about, you might have just caught there, there's a place called Inverberthy, which I didn't see before. But I turn around here and I see this man's truck. Thank you, Alan, for Inverberthy. And that's the name of the place we are. I follow it along and I eventually see it just a little bit further up to the north. And there it is. And we go in and I know we're on a place called Kirkwall. Is that what it's called? A Kirkburn. And I go in and I can't really see it. It's not on that. It just That just says a number one. But that looks like it's right. So I come back and I'm like, right, what is nearby that's going to help me get this? Uh, I'm looking around a bit confused. I'm thinking that's maybe the road but it's not a dead end. I turn around and there's a fire station right there. So I, I have a look, there's Inverbevy fire station. I throw it down and we go for it. And I'm just sort of aligning that up and there we go. And we got it. Last one, bit of an easy one um, in terms of the fact that we're in a big city. We're outside a massive Tesco, which should be very easy to find. The only problem is I don't know which city we're in. So I'm looking around. Usually the Tesco's have like a a sign on it or something saying which which area it's in but I don't see anything looks a lot like Manchester or maybe Birmingham or something but I'm not sure I turn around I go along this road here um, I end up getting to this big roundabout hoping there's something here I look at the Tesco sign again nothing there I could have gone that direction but I ended up going the other way I think I think I went along here um, looking for something I go down I have a look, I see there's a lot of shops here. So I'm like, right, let's gamble on that and see if I can see, you know, uh, an area name or something, but it's a bit too far away and blurry. Then I click and jump over this road and there it is. Welcome to Salford Market. And Salford is in Manchester um, or it's just sort of to the west of Manchester. I can't remember exactly where it is. I'm being a bit stupid here. It's right in front of me. Um, I was thinking, oh, maybe it's outside the city, but it's not, it's right there. I zoom in and there's the Tesco pretty easy. Throw it down at the front door. I just want to make sure where we are. I throw it in and there we go. And that's the 5k. I thought this was slower. I thought I'd spent 20 minutes doing this. Um, and so I'm just sort of sitting thinking to myself, what's the time? Click the game breakdown and there we go. 13 minutes, 30 seconds. So I'm pretty pleased with it. It's, um, it's you know, beaten my best time by about five minutes. Uh, my last time was about 18 minutes something. Um, as you can see, I'm sort of, now I'm actually talking, kind of talking 
to myself in a way thinking those first two were just way too long you know if i if i'd got those in a couple of minutes each we could have maybe broken the 10 minute mark um for some reason i clicked back here i think i wanted to get back to the previous screen this one and i zoom in just to see them so number one prude hole that was a tricky one i went around in a circle and didn't know the name of the town eventually got it number two what was number two that was hartley pool again took way too long trying to find that um in my defense there was not a lot of signs telling me that was hartley pool uh royal tunbridge wells was pretty easy once i got the name and i got the road uh number four was the one up here in verbebi thank you to the man with the van with the name of the place on it um and i'm just sort of zooming in and just remembering all the ones that i had here and then the last one number five was yeah the easiest of the lot basically uh one, anytime you're outside a massive supermarket like that or like a stadium or once you get the place name it's pretty easy to find it so thank you for watching the video um i'm going to be trying this more and more in the coming weeks and months uh to see basically how low i can get my time 1330 is pretty good i think so Join me in the next video and have a good um, day wherever you are.